Welcome, I'm Melissa Hibbert, celebrity makeup artist and beauty expert. And today, we're giving three lucky women a bold new look. Let's meet these women and our glam squad. I felt that I arrived when I followed my passion for beauty. For me, showing up like that and arriving at my purpose yes. is unbelievable. Yeah. Oh you know, wow. so and now, uh, Melissa, I mean, they look like brother and sister now, yeah. don't they? I know. The makeup is on point. What did you do? Well, I, she has beautiful skin, yeah. so it was really about me focusing on her eyes. And that red dress, nothing says sultry like a smoky eye. Yes. So I wanted to play that up on her and give her just really beautiful brows and a nice soft lip. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. You killed that. You know, I think women are going, you're going back to the place where women are appreciating, you know, having, um, looking fresh and youthful. Yeah. And not that you're not wearing makeup, but there's the new introduction of CC creams, which is corrective color creams that mm -hmm. are like BB creams. They're um, moisturizers mixed with foundation. So you still get the coverage, mm -hmm. but you don't look heavy and you, you know, don't, you know, don't look you know, overly you know. But, it, but it does right. translate into, you know, how we show up in our, in, our, in, our, in our beauty and in our hair and sometimes in our fashion and also in our choices to enhance certain parts or, you know, of our body just so we can really have uh, to, to, to be represented somehow, you know, and to be seen because we all want to be seen, right? But I think that it's just a matter of why can't you look your best with who, why can't you love yourself for who you are? And let me enhance upon that. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give her a sculpted look. So I really wanted to focus on bringing out her cheekbones as well as her eyes. And so I wanted to make sure that there was a lot of depth in her eyes because she has tiny, gorgeous eyes. And I thought it was really important to kind of open them up and then I wanted to finish off with an orange red lip. It actually goes very well with everything that's happening here with her hair and her, her outfit and her necklace. So adding that pop of lip, you know, just to complete the look was definitely a great choice because she can carry color very well. Super gorgeous. I'm so glad you called me because, you know, I love to get you glam. But we gotta first take care of that skin. And I brought over my Dermaflash. It is amazing. What it's gonna do is gonna help the skincare and the makeup go on more smoothly. It's gonna remove a lot of the dead cells from the skin surface. It's gonna make your skin more radiant and glow. And so, and the peach fuzz, it's gonna be gone. There's a ton of incompetence that certainly goes unchecked and certainly goes um, without notice. But I think for Absolutely. us who are behind the camera and those who are in front of the camera talent, you have to be able to be a voice and an advocate for, for how you wanna look and mm -hmm. also um, you know, and, and, and who you are working with. So you gotta be able to speak up. Who's, who's, who's my glam team? Let me know that in advance, or can I bring in my own? You don't be afraid to speak up. We don't have that, that, that luxury anymore to just be silent in every aspect of life and in business, whether it be beauty or just, you know, in general, we have to Absolutely. be vocal about our, and, and we have to ask, you know, you cannot get anything if you don't demand it. I've had the pleasure of working with so many beautiful and amazing women, uh, both regular women as well as celebrities. I have, um, you know, two companies, a makeup line as well as an agency. There is no other African American agency in LA doing what I do. I employ probably more beauty professionals of color in this business helping them get jobs than any other company. And, you know, and then working on my own way of reaching women through my own content and events and speaking engagements. And I want to, you know, continue to be in front of the camera, in front of people to understand that, you know, beauty is power. And that's really, uh, you know, really my mantra and, and you know, my legacy.